In this next video, we'll be talking about how to hyperlink materials into your website. We're going to start by working on this homework page. To begin with, I'm going to click Edit, and then when my content area is free, I will hit Enter a couple times and spread that out a little bit. I'm going to begin by adding a couple of Google Docs that I would like to share with my students. Um, again, this, this type of page is called a file cabinet page, and it does have a place where I can upload files at the bottom of it, but Google Docs is not usually the best format to upload materials to this type of page. So I want to use a hyperlink instead. The good thing about using a hyperlink is once I create it and it's linked to my Google Doc, that link on my web page doesn't need to be changed. Anytime I make a change on the Google Doc itself, it will automatically show up on the link that I create. So I have two review sheets that I would like to attach. And I'll make that instead of review sheets, review sheet one. And then I have a website game site. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to highlight review sheet one. This is the text I want to make into a hyperlink. I'm then going to click the hyperlink button towards the center top of the screen and it's going to give me a bunch of choices. Now it defaults to hyperlinking to another page within your site. I would like to hyperlink to a web address, so I'm going to click on web address on the left. Now it shows me the text to display, now I just need the address to it. So I've opened up the worksheet already, and I have the Google Doc open. Now one of the important steps when sharing a Google Doc on the website is to go to the sharing window and make sure that you've made this public. If this is set to private, it will not allow teachers or um, non-teachers or parents or students to access it. See right now it says private so I'm going to click change, make this public on the web, click save, and then I'm going to grab the URL that appears at the top. This document is now public on the web. It does not mean that it's going to be easily found on the web but it means anybody can access it if they have the link. So I'm going to paste the link there. One last thing, I'm going to click on this box towards the bottom left this says open this link in a new window. This means when someone clicks this link, a new window will open up with this worksheet and my website will stay open. If I don't click this, it will take them from my page to the worksheet. So I always want my kids to stay on my site when they're accessing different materials. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice now that this has changed color. It's now a hyperlink and you can see the address it's going to go to. I'm going to repeat this step with my second review sheet. I'm going to click hyperlink. I'm then going to go to this review sheet, go to share, and I'm going to change that access to public on the web, save, grab the URL and copy it, and then I will click web address and paste that address here, click the open the link in the new window, and click OK. Now I now have two Google Docs files. Now whenever I make edits to these documents, these changes will automatically show up on the link that the people click on. So if students click on Review Sheet 1, they're always going to get the most recent version. Now I can also hyperlink to websites. So I've opened up this Science Review Games website and I'm going to click in the URL and copy that and go back to my website and I'm going to highlight the text I would like to set as the hyperlink, click the hyperlink button, click web address and I will paste that information there, click open this link in a new window, I will then click OK and there is another link. So these are all hyperlinks that now take people to different places. I will click Save on my website, and these links are now ready to be used.